Good morning, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So for those of y'all who don't know who I am, I'm Grace Amber. I come on different platforms. Whenever God gives me a word to share, I come on and I share it with you. Really quick today, happy Friday, y'all. We done made it through another week. Happy Friday. So I want to talk to you guys from the topic of mind, body, and soul. Mind, body and so what am I talking about today this is something that many of us really are, are oblivious to right see many of God's children we have uh, mastered uh, conquering the battles in our mind we have gotten over depression we have gotten over anxiety we have gotten over all the trauma of the past we have gotten over that that is great and then we have also mastered the art of our soul and where we have submitted our life to god so our mind and our soul is intact and is in proper alignment and is in the way in which it should be right but here's what we are failing to do we are failing to pay any attention to our body we have submitted our lives to god right which has done a great work in our mind and in our soul of of course but then what we're doing is we have submitted ourselves to God and have allowed him to do a great work in our mind and in our soul but we are failing to uh, address our body we're not paying our bodies any attention we are not paying our health any attention what are we doing we read our Bible we nourish our mind we pray uh, we submit our lives to God so our soul is intact but then what we do with our body is uh, we drink <laughs> three bottles of liquor a day when we get off from work. What do we do? We smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. What do we do? We come home and we eat uh, pig feet, fried chicken, collard greens with all kind of fat back, everything in the world in there. And we eat this five nights a week. Some of us, uh, let's go to some other ethnicities. Some of us will eat a whole cheesecake in one night. Some of us will go to Starbucks five times a day. What do you think that is doing to our body? See, God has elevated our mind. He's elevated our soul. But here we are. We are constantly polluting and junking our body. We're constantly putting junk in our body. Or here's one for you. When we keep laying up with all these people before we're married, every time we lay up with somebody, you know what happens? There is not just a transfer of spirit, but there is a transfer of germs. If you don't believe me, you are deceived. Every time you do so much as kiss somebody, the germs they got in their mouth, you are transferring on yours. Let me tell you something. God is saying to us that it is great that we have been faithful stewards over our mind and our soul. But here is what we are failing to address. And here's what we're failing to take care of. It is our body. Many of the saints, listen, we, we high ranked up in the army of the Lord. Now we have high ranking but what happens is when we hit about 45, that's when these health ailments start, start coming against us. And it's not that God has allowed the enemy to do it. It's that we have done it ourselves. And so God is saying in this season, it is great the progress that you have made. Hey, one thing I love to say is that if you continue to walk with God and if you are honest and sincere and genuine in your walking with God and you sincerely, genuinely seek him and desire him, you are going to grow. You will not stay stagnant. If you stay stagnant in a walk with God and you have been in the same place and the same same status and you have had no growth and it's been years, you should go to God and ask him, what are you doing wrong? Because it's not God, it's you. It's something that you're doing wrong because when you walk with God in the proper posture, you are going to grow. And so God is saying, listen, our bodies, we need to be better stewards of our bodies. It's great what has happened with our soul and our mind and how we have grown, but the body is working against us. The flesh is working against all of our growth and elevation because we are technically abusing our body by putting all of the things that we are putting in it, by not going to go take a walk on your lunch break when you got five minutes, you got 60 minutes and all it's going to take is a five minute walk around the building and you refuse to do that. Then when you get 45 and your ankles start swelling and you out of breath when it's time to go up the steps, you don't understand why why is because for the last 30 or 45 years you have failed to be active you have failed to care for your body you have failed to feed your body good things 
You have failed to give your body nutrients. You have failed to take care of your body and be a good steward over your body. And it is going to show. If it's not showing now, trust me, it's going to show later. And so what God is trying to do is get this word to you and get you to wake up and start being a better steward over your body. Not just y'all, but me too. Because I love my sweets. I always love something sweet. I love me a plate of some fried chicken and some collard greens and some cornbread and some potato salad and some sweet tea. Listen, I'm from down south. We eat good down here. But you have to do it in moderation. God is not saying throw away everything that you love and abstain and go to eating uh, cow food, as my dad would call it. He's not expecting you to go out there and just eat greens uh, every single day for the rest of your life. It's not what you do, it's how you do it and how often you do it. And if you will do it in moderation, it will not have a bad effect on your body. Today, God is telling us, listen, don't just pay attention to what you feed your mind. Don't just pay attention to what you allow to come into your soul, but also pay careful attention to what you're doing with your body because what you do today will affect your tomorrow. So if you don't want to be one of those people who are on dialysis, from the time they are 50 to the time they die, well, guess what? God didn't say that you couldn't drink a little wine, but uh, five bottles of liquor, big bottles of liquor in a week is not good for your kidneys. And so it's cool now. It's not affecting you now, but you better believe five or 10 years from now, you're going to start seeing the effects of that. Smoking three packs of cigarettes a day, it might give you a little cough right now. You're saying, well, listen, I'm living for now. I'm not worrying about that because I might not even make it to see 65. Well, listen, many people have said that. And those are the people that are going around right now with oxygen at the age of 65 and 70 because they didn't take heed to the warning and they continue to smoke three and four packs of cigarettes a day for years consecutively. God is saying that we must be better stewards over our body because he is not allowing Satan to come in and attack your body. But you are reaping what you sow. So if you continue to get up, at 12 o'clock at night, and I'm guilty of this sometimes. If I wake up in the middle of the night, sometimes I want something sweet. If you do this every night, you get up at 12 o'clock at night, go downstairs, eat you a half of the cake downstairs, and then go upstairs and go back and lay down and go to sleep. Don't even brush your teeth. Well, guess what? If you continue to do that every day, you're probably going to be a diabetic. Not to put my mouth on you, but this is, this is facts. These are facts. If you continue to do that, right? You won't work out. You go right back to bed after eating sweets. You do it every night. Guess what? That's going to lead to one day. That can lead to you losing your teeth and having to have dentures, which can be painful. Guys, God is telling us to be better stewards over our body. Let me give you the scripture. It's third John, the first chapter. Uh, it's only one chapter in the book of John. Bless his heart. So let's go to the third, third, let's go to third John. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I want to make sure I had it right. All right, let's go down to 3 John, right? Let's go to the second verse. And it reads, this is a letter that he was writing to his friend. It reads, dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health, right? And that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Listen to what he said. I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. Your soul is getting along great. You've mastered that. You're good with your soul. Your soul is good. Your mind is good. But for all to go well with you so that you can reap a harvest, a good harvest, so that you can enjoy a good life, so that 10 years from now, the seeds that you are planting will not uh, grow up and harvest diabetes high cholesterol, and so you won't have to be on dialysis, and so that you won't have to walk around with oxygen tanks. Listen, God is saying to us to take care of our bodies so that we may enjoy good health and so that all may go well with us even as our soul is getting along well. I love you. I am Grace Amber. Uh, enjoy your weekend. I'm so glad we made it through another work week. I will be right back on Monday with another word. Good Lord willing.